what an awesome sunrise. Ten minutes previously, the sky was red. And as they say, red sky in morning, Taylor take warning. Oh, that was quick. Oops. Chewed up a bit of a prop, a little bit, but we should be right. But what an idiot. I thought I memorised all the reefs. Obviously, I didn't. I just jumped in and I noticed a tiny little tail flick just behind this coral. Now normally I go for a headshot, but it's going to be a bit risky because he's going to see me. So I aim for the body. I don't like doing that. I like to kill him out outright, but there you have it. He's dead now. Now this guy I saw from a long, long way back. Now there's a bommie behind me, and I should have actually dived behind there and then crept up to this bommie. But I was a bit lazy. There you go. You can just see him. Now he's hanging there. He's waiting, but now he's getting a bit sus. Oh, oh. What's this guy doing? Oh, I have another look. Oh, better go. Oh. Now, I'm not finning at all. I'm just sort of using gravity just to let me drift down. Anyway, another nice trout. Now, these are freaky. Now, look at this. It looks like fingers and, and hands. Well, deformed hands, but anyway. There were lots of sharks about that day. I think I counted about seven. Uh, there were four at one time, but I didn't even get a shot of that. I was too busy buggerizing around. Now, this fish here, I never shoot these fish. These fish have personality. But I like to try and communicate with them. I mean, how gorgeous is that? That's a flowery rock cod. Very, very smart. And that's a big GT. Uh, I'm not trying to shoot him. I'd never shoot one like that. And some more sharks. What a perfect day for drifting. Just awesome. Uh, I don't know if you can see the boat. It's a long, long way that way. I reckon I probably drifted about three kilometres, two or three kilometres, over canyons and gorges and a maze of reefs. It's just, this is an awesome place. Middle of nowhere, no one around. It's just awesome. Beautiful, just beautiful. Ooh, that was one of the best drift dives I've ever done. There's no wind, so you just let the boat go and you just drift along with it. You keep an eye on it, of course. And I just drifted so far that way. A bit stupid, but you know, sometimes you've got to do these things. And we've got some dinner for the next couple of days. <laughs> this is how the girls get in the boat. And that's why I love girls getting in the boat. It takes hours. It, it takes hours and hours for them to get in the boat. I took the following video because I saw some nice coral and pretty fish. I mean, look at the nice coral there. I look at those pretty little fish. Look, there's Nemo. And look, look at this beautiful brain coral. How nice is that? Fedra, get out of the way. Fedra, I'm trying to look at the brain coral. Here's some more little fish. See those little fish, how cute are they? Oh look, here comes Fedra again. It seems that wherever I point the camera, that's where Fedra is. Now look at that nice sand there. How nice is that sand? And look, I thought I'd go to the surface and look at how nice the sun was shining through the water. And look, how nice this little swim through here. 
That is pretty nice. And there's some nice fishies. And here's some nice sand again. Oh, I like that sand. That's good sand. And can't remember what I... Oh, yeah, there's Nemo again. How nice is Nemo looking there? Bye, Fedra. Oh, there's some more nice coral. That is nice looking coral. Oh, there actually is a, some nice coral. Hello, Mr. Eagle Ray. These are my favourite arrays. They're so beautiful. i got a really good story to tell you one day about those. But not today. It takes too long. I mean, look how graceful and beautiful it is. Just flying underwater. And the girl's uh, made me a new hairdo. What do you reckon? Italians are very passionate people. 